Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Today, we're going to be talking about flow. That's the message that came through to me earlier today. And before I even get into the details of what that message looked like, there is a more important imperative message that I want to share first. And I just feel like within 24 hours of you watching this video, I feel like there could be and there will be a incredible transformative change miracle that can happen within your life if we each step into a space of total flow and receiving and abundance and release truly now that being said let's go ahead and dive in the first thing that i'm feeling and seeing is water i'm seeing it from the top of the mountain flowing down to the bottom of the mountain this is not something that we can control it is a gravitational pull it is a pull from one thing to the next if we try to grip it if we try to stop it it would flow around, it would flow through, or if you put a boundary there, it would ultimately wear it down over time. The reality is, is that you can't stop water. It's going to go where it is that it's going to go regardless because that is where it's pulled to go to. The same is true for you at this current stage and phase within your life. It is really important for me to tell you how transformative this moment is now, even if it makes sense to you or if it doesn't, it is super, supremely transformative. And the way to work with this and the thing to remember is that you're being pulled, you're being called to something bigger, better, or different than what it is that you're currently experiencing now. Now we say all the time, we constantly are reminding ourselves, most of us, okay, we're gonna let go of our needs to control, we're going to release, we're going to let go. But the reality is, is that for a large majority of us, letting go, the act of actually letting go, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, is really, really tough and can trigger a lot of feelings within us, of fear, insecurity, doubt, and it can really test our faith as far as what is there for us, what can occur to us, what we're able to receive, what can happen, and it can make us grip up, it can make us tighten up because we enter into a space of fear and lack. I wanna remind you that that mindset is simply simply stripped away all it is is a perspective a perspective is a thought it's how we look at something it's how we perceive it it's how we observe something and how that observation is computed into our brains how our brains are wired is set into motion and tweaked by our circumstances and the things that have brought us to up until this point. And that could be how we were raised. It can be our failures. It could be abandonment issues. It could be trauma, things that have happened to us that have kind of tweaked every single wire to, to trigger and fire off when something reminds us of something that happened to us in our past. And that's set there for a reason to protect us. But the reality is, is that that is only our physical and our mental selves and our emotional selves. It is not our spiritual selves. Because if you quiet yourself and if you pull to your core, this always changing, always evolving, but somehow consistent and constant, you know, core that is created of love, light, love and, and energy, it's, there's abundance there, there's peace there, there's blessing there because that is connected to the divine. That is connected to abundance. That knows that, yes, things are changing, but if one thing is changing from one phase, it's, you know, it's never really a true ending because it always enters into the next cycle. It always enters into the next stage within our lives that is just as abundantly filled as the one that we're walking out of. But again, just like everything flows, if water is flowing, it's moving from one to the next. So if, if it's moving from here to there, there might be a lack here, but it's flowing into abundance. And at some point, just like water and condensation and, and rain and evaporation, it's this evolution, it's, it's this constant cycle where it can go from here to there and it can take 24 hours or a week or however long it takes but that cycle is always moving now i want to ask you right now to intuitively connect with yourself and ask and ask yourself where are you at in this cycle this flow right now currently this is something that you know within your core within your intuition within your gut but also you can see clues of it are you flowing right now are you ebbing then that means that you're in a space of flowing if things are tight and they're not moving or they're still 
Is it stagnation or are you frozen? If it's stagnation, then I wanna ask you, are you being called to something bigger for yourself right now? Or are you frozen and still because you need time for yourself in order to kind of restore? It's like an active restorative phase where even though it seems like you're dormant or even though it seems like the circumstances around you are dormant, they're actually restoring themselves. They're actually building up their energy for the next cycle, the spring cycle where the sun will come out, things will thaw out and you will thaw out and circumstances will thaw out and things will flow again. One of the next things is where there's too much water. We are feeling that and experiencing that at the time of me filming that where we just came out of a hurricane and some flooding energy that was going on here in New Orleans where there was a lot of water that was coming in and it was a lot in a small amount of time and the city flooded really, really quickly. Within a few short hours, the city flooded. What a difference 24 hours can make but the city flooded really, really quickly. And for some of you guys, that is a metaphor and very symbolic of the space that you're in currently right now where emotionally you are feeling a lot, you're experiencing a lot, and you need to be pulled, you need to be rescued, you need to be pulled to dry ground, and you need to be dried out. You need someone to come in, whether it be spirit or ancestors or the divine or a person or a circumstance that comes in and pulls you out of, or maybe it's yourself, that pulls you out of this lake, this flooding of emotion that it is that you've been feeling that has been bogging you, bogging you down and making you feel very unstable and very off balance. Knowing where you're at in the stage of your life when it comes to this metaphor of water is going to help you to kind of see what is the next cycle for you because not everything stays the same. Things are constantly changing, things are constantly evolving. That being said, my next message that comes through today is a want, a word of freedom. And with that, it is allowing yourself to have the freedom to change and to evolve as you will, as you are being called to. The same thing that you're giving to yourself, you must give to others and you must give to opportunities and energy that is around you. You need to give it the freedom, the space to evolve as it will. Just as water is going to flow, so too will those things. <laughs> Just as water will flow and get pulled, so too will you. There are three things that I feel you cannot grip on to. Love, energy, light. Okay, four things and water. <laughs> These four things are designed to flow. You can't grip onto them even if you wanted to. You can't grip onto them even if you tried. They might come in in a physical form, but the energy of it, the love of it, the light of it is something that you can't hold on to. It's something that is going to change. It's something that is going to evolve because that is the essence of everything on this earth. With this message, I wanna remind you to allow yourself to be freed from the things that bind you, trying to grip onto you, and allow yourself to be pulled into the next direction. Allow yourself to be pulled and transformed into the next form that it is that you're ultimately being called to. And then also, as you watch others do this, and as you watch the circumstances around you kind of change and shift, give them the same space and the freedom to do what it is that they're going to want to do. This can trigger feelings of lack and abandonment, but again, if the things that are changing around you are designed for you and are getting pulled to you, they are going to be around you regardless. They may flow away for a second, but ultimately they come back because that's just the way of the universe. That's just how it is. It is such a gift and a blessing to watch yourself shift and change and evolve because that is life. It is showing you how much life and abundance there is around you and, and within you. And it is, a, it is a blessing to watch the people, the things, the circumstances around you change and evolve and shift just as you would want to, just as you would want that space and that freedom to change, to evolve, and to shift. It's not a threat to watch as these things that you've become accustomed to, to watch them shift and to evolve because they are learning how to thrive. They are not stagnant. If water sits for too long, it becomes stagnant and gross and mucky and you don't want that for the things that it is that you love. You don't want that for your career. You don't want that for your love life. You don't want that for yourself, for your children, for your partner. You want them to evolve. You want them to shift. You want them to go and explore and they'll come back. It's a blessing to share time with each other. It's a blessing to 
to support each other and to be a part of that journey. Just as you would want that for yourself, give that to others and others should want the same thing for you, so they should give that to you as well. As you watch this evolution happen around you, let it be something that inspires you because as you're watching it happen to your friends, to your family, to the people you love or to your career or our environment, our government, it is giving you also permission to do the same thing for yourself. What a relief that is that you don't have to stay in a space that makes you stagnant, that makes you mucky and, and murky and feel gross with just being in the same situation time and time and time again. There are some things in your life that you are going to come back to regardless because they feel like home, but make sure that whatever it is that is home to you is something that is supportive to you, that it is something that you love, that it is something that if you do love it, that is helping you to thrive and supporting your growth and gives you the freedom to continue to grow and is not keeping you in a space that is stagnant and again murky because that is not your calling. That is not what you are here and placed here on earth to do. You are meant to you know, get pulled to these things that you're gonna feel like you need to explore and to experience and everything around you should support that versus trying to grip onto you and keep you in status quo. I feel like when you lift your feet and you allow yourself to float on where you are being called to flow to right now, the waters of this universe, the waters of the divine is going to carry you into abundance. It's going to carry you into a miracle. It's going to shift your energy from being rigid and stagnant and too still into movement and manifestation and abundance and blessing. And I truly, I truly feel that. And I feel it within 24 hours, but at the same time, time doesn't exist. But what does exist is love and energy and light. So it's more about being in a space of connecting with that and faith and trust that where you are being called to and where others are being called to is for their highest and greatest good and your highest and greatest good. And you are going to cross paths. You are going to manifest. You are going to receive. You are going to grow. You are going to thrive wherever it is that you're being called to right now because you have given, you have chosen to give yourself the, the freedom and the space to move into abundance, to move into light, to move into manifestation. And that is my message. That is what I see for you. That's what I see for me. And that's what I see for all of us. I hope that this message reaches you with perfect divine timing. I want to speak into your life, the confidence and the courage to trust where it is that you are being called to flow to now. I want to speak into your life that the things that you have been wanting and calling and waiting for, that somehow the word is harmony, that somehow they kind of fall into place divinely, perfectly into alignment so that they harmoniously flow into your life. And it's not something that you have to fight and force and grip onto, that it's something that just kind of rushes up from behind and you're just like, oh wow, this blessing, I did not experience it. Or I didn't know that I was gonna experience it as fast and as quickly as I thought I would. And the gratitude that flows from me is effortless and it is continuous. So that's what it is that I'm seeing right now. I hope that you are well and good wherever you are. And I'm curious as far as what stage you're currently at in your life. Do you see that you are flowing right now? Do you feel like you're, you're frozen and that things are still? Do you feel like you are stagnant? Or do you feel like you need to be pulled up and rescued from the divine? Or do you need to ask and call out for help? Where is it that you currently are? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure that you're subscribed to this video because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.